Celebrating everything icy and cold this winter has been a challenge in these times. Andrew Horansky shows us how one community is keeping a tradition alive. More than 120 sculptures frozen in ice. I like that movie. Elsa. <laughs> My favorite one is the dinosaur one. And no one seemed to mind the weather. Nice thing to do with the kids. During the pandemic, when everyone's stuck in the house, can't really go nowhere, so it was something to do different. The Medina Ice Festival returning to the town square, different this year, but better in ways too. There is a traffic pattern in the square to try and keep people safe, so this is pretty perfect. Um, the only thing that would hurt a little bit is if the sun comes out. Cloudy is better for ice. If it gets hit by the sun, the ice itself gets cloudy. So cloudy in 33, 32, perfect ice festival weather. Drawing crowds in bundles. How many layers do you have on? Probably three or four. <laughs> I mean, it's something to talk about because especially with COVID, you needed something to do, but just enjoy family and create moments. One of the biggest ice events in Northeast Ohio, it is sponsored entirely by local businesses who pay for these sculptures, which don't always last long. Last year it melted, so we didn't get to enjoy it as much. Sometimes they don't even last the night. The sculptures will all be here through Monday, which is actually a pretty big deal because a few years ago it was too warm for this, and they had all melted by now. In Medina, I'm Andrew Horansky, 3 News.